What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kit Thunder. I haven't done a single video in, she's like, I don't know, I think like two and a half, three months, something like, somewhere around that. And I have to be very honest, I was like extremely busy with things, with life things, if you ask me. So, you know, so that's given why I was super busy. I haven't done a single video back then. But I will say this. Now that's out of the way. It's time to talk about something like this. America. We're almost in the home stretch. We're literally in the home stretch. And we have like just about set. Just about almost literally a week left and you know into this election season and this will either this will either say that are we going to be in our last chance for freedom or are we going to be voting are are we going to be welcoming things like communism and marxism and socialism into the into these united states to the point where every state becomes either split away or i mean literally to the point where every state becomes split split away and become a border state And to the point where we might be hit, we might be taken over by our enemies, like China and Russia. I will say this right here. Do you want? I will say this right here. As a born again Christian. I do believe this. No matter who's pre no matter who's president, Jesus is king. However, I also believe this too. The only way that we can truly make our nation prosperous is if we go back to the fundamental values of Humbling ourselves before Almighty God. I don't know about you, but there are a lot of there are people who wanna there are Christians out there. Yes, Christians out there who wanna vote for a party, the Democratic Party. Because the current Democratic Party they don't stand they don't stand for things like religious freedom or, or whatever. You know, they support all all these kind of nonsense where where they think it's it's ungodly. You know, where it's obviously ungodly. You know, things like you know, abortion which is literally nothing more than murdering the life of newborn newborn babies in and out of the womb I mean it ain't I mean abortion ain't health care it, it's literally murder you can talk about homosexuality you know same sex marriages and you know the sad part is this a lot of churches a lot of churches have have allowed that even in the even in the black church where literally the black church is nothing more than the para ministry of the democrat party the arm of the democrat party
And I will say this as a black person, if I were to attend a black church right now and I speak out against all, all the ungodliness the Democrat Party supports, I'd be excommunicated. I'd be I'd be blacklisted. But it's not just black churches that are doing that. You know, it's pretty much a lot of churches that's a lot of churches, black, white, whatever, that supports that allows leftist politicians, you know, pushing all this progressivism down our throats. But that's another story. Another thing I want to another thing I want to say is this. Now, I will say this: Is the is the Republican Party perfect? No. Is Trump perfect? No. But, in my humble opinion, and I've seen it in in recent in the past 10, 15 years, I've seen how. The Republican Party happens to be more aligned with biblical values. I've seen how I've seen how Trump is more aligned with biblical values. Is Trump perfect? No. I mean, keep in mind when he was per, when he was forty five, when he was number forty five, you know, as president. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I've supported him. I still support him, but I also held him accountable when things didn't line up. You know, I'm, I don't expect to be a cheerleader of a particular political leader. I mean, that, which is a problem within itself. America we within this week left we got we got one week left and we need to we need to vote we need to go out and vote as if our As if it's our last chance for freedom. I mean, let me say this: a lot of things are at, are a lot of things are at stake. And I'm talking about a lot of our God-given rights are at stake: the rights to express ourselves freely, the rights to you know, religious freedom, the rights to, the right to bear arms, you know, look at, look at the state of our nation right now, illegal immigrants crossing over the border, and guess who's fitting the bill? Us. You know, a lot, you know, what, what's another thing? We got, we got all these uh, people who preach this, who preach this pronoun crap. You know, he, him, she, her, they, them, all that, you know, all that nonsense. What other country out there that's pushing that, pushing that nonsense? And and on that note, why, you know, we have too many. We have biological men masquerading as women, by the way, into women's sports. I mean, participating in women's sports, let alone going into the the ladies' room. Do 
do we want do we want another four years of that? Do we want do we want another four years of you know high prices, inflation, and being taxed up to you know what? Do you really want do you really want that? I sure don't. I don't want I don't want four more years of progressive ideologies. It's hurting everybody, myself included. And I fear, I fear for this election. I fear that, that things will get, things will get ugly and, and destructive. You, you know, another thing, you know, another thing I fear, I fear that like in 2020, where, where they're not going to lie, there was some shenanigans that were being pulled. Like, I fear that that's, I fear that that's going to be a thing again this year in this upcoming election. In, you know, this I'm not going to lie to you. This upcoming election is going to get me a bit worried. Now, some of us conservatives out there, we may say that we may say that Kamato is losing it, you know, losing is crumbling. Her campaign is crumbling. We may say that, but the truth is the left is probably going to pull some shenanigans. Like they did in 2020 and 2020 and yes, 2020, the 2020 presidential election was a stolen election. But I digress. And conserv conservatives. You know, Trump supporters, we need to go out and vote like our like, like our lives depend on it. We want to say we want to say things like "quote unquote" too big to rig, and all that kind of stuff. We want to say that, but I'm gonna tell you the honest to God truth. Yes, if we, yes, we can we can claim that this upcoming election is too big to rig, but we got to do our part in voting we cannot monkey this up and sit and sit out on this yeah i said we cannot i'm gonna repeat myself and say this we cannot monkey this up and sit out on this also want to because we gotta learn we we definitely need to learn our lessons from 2020 and 2020, the 2020 presidential election and the 2022 midterms. And as if and only if we go, we do our part and vote. Uh, and I want to talk about these folks who want to sit out on this election, you know, especially you know your typical black democrat your your typical black democrat supporter plan, planning on sitting out on this election you know because they simply do not like i mean they obviously do not like trump and they obviously don't like camel toe now i would say this i mean and this is to the the typical black democrat if you sit out on this election and you don't like you don't like the issues you got you got your you got no choice to blame but yourself you 
got no choice but to you got no choice to blame but yourself. If you don't if you don't like if you don't like the political issues. I mean, I don't know about you, but here's the thing. If I were you, I'd vote I'd still vote my conscience. I'm not telling you how to vote or whatever, but I still vote my conscience regardless. It'll be it'll be foolish to sit out on this particular on this election. I got I got no choice. I mean I got I got no t I mean I'm not telling you who to vote for or what. You vote your conscience. And it's like this, you know, I do believe this, right? I want to believe this too, you know. How does how does upcoming election going to come out? It's going to be it's going to be really you know, things are going to be really intense. And I'm a little I'm a little worried about it, but as a born again Bible believing God fearing Christian, I do I pray, I hope and I pray that whoever gets elected in brings our country into the right into the right direction. That's all I gotta say. I'm Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kid Thunder. I'm signing off. You guys, take it easy.